Have you ever moderated on a mobile device? I've got my iPhone here. When you want to use, say, a predetermined text or repeated text, you have to copy and paste it. it means you have to jump out of YouTube or Twitch. You have to go and find the text in your notes or wherever you got it in a spreadsheet somewhere. Copy it, then jump back and paste it. And in the meantime, you've left the stream. You've got to get back into the stream so you can paste the response. It might be a link that the streamer wants you to post or it could be a message that you repeat a lot. Today, I've got a solution for you that doesn't re require you to leave YouTube or Twitch at all. It'll take a little bit of setting up. And once it's set up, it'll make your life during stream a whole lot easier. Let's hit it. G'day, Doug with you, back with this video for moderators in particular, but this trick also applies to if you're just answering your comment section. Today, we're gonna point it in the direction of moderating a live stream because sometimes you've got to moderate a live stream and you're not at your computer. Like I'm sitting here at my computer now, but sometimes you might be out, you might be out on a walk, or you might be in transit commuting somewhere. And so you don't always have your computer handy to do a full proper moderation job. Sometimes you just gotta tap the screen. The solution for you to make this easier is a special keyboard on iOS. Here we go. First step is you need to go to the App Store and I'll show you the app that you're gonna need. It's gonna cost you a couple of dollars, but don't fear, it's well worth it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is type in the search, just gonna type canned. And if you scroll down, what you're looking for is this one here, this gray one. This is canned response keyboard, what's called CRK on the app icon there. And you can see I've already installed it, but if you tap and install that, it's, for me, it was about three or four Australian dollars, so it might be US dollars, a couple of bucks. So make sure you go and get that. Now, once it's installed, you need to do a couple of things. Well, first thing you'll notice is it will be on your desk, desk screen there. You can see it there at the bottom. It says CRK or canned. It's the gray one. Look for the gray icon. That's the one you want. But before we go in there, you're gonna to need to go into your settings, go to keyboard, or in general settings, general keyboard, and you want to make sure you go into keyboards Go add new keyboard. You can see under third party keyboards here, it says canned. I'm gonna tap that. And now it's in your list of keyboards. You're gonna to have to make sure that's in place before you get going. But once you've got that going, everything's good. All you need to do now is set up all those predetermined responses, whether they're affiliate links or links to more information. Now I've got a couple set up in here already, so let me show you those. Go to the app and open it. The app works like a regular app for setting it up. You can see I've got a couple here already. I've got an info one, which uh, links to my bio link. I've got a link to my buy me a coffee page. So people want to, instead of super chatting, they want to tip me during a stream. So I've set those up. Now to set up a new one, just hit the plus in the top right hand side. You can give it a title and then put in the text. So yeah, there's one that I like to use. So I've got that set up on my stream deck. So if you want to know how to set that up on a stream deck, I've got a video on that. That's gonna be up in the cards here. You can check that out. Uh, it will also be in the description. That's probably a better place to find it after the video. So I'm just gonna call that Nick, because I know it's Nick's stream. Uh, questions. Okay, so I've got the message, I've got the, the title, and then click save in the top right hand side, that's saved. You can see now I've got three messages. Now, here's the kicker. Now we've got to actually get in there and show you how to use it. So let's jump out of the app. Let's go to say YouTube Studio because I'm not in a live stream right now to drop it on a live stream, but I'm going to drop it on a comment. Uh, I can see a comment I've got here recently. Uh, so I'm going to use this as an example. I'm going to hit reply on the comment. So now I've got the reply screen up. The world icon there, if I just tap hold of that for a second, it's gonna ask me what keyboard to use because I was currently just on the English typing keyboard. I'm gonna go to the bottom one, canned keyboard dash canned. And you can see there's my responses there. And we wanna use the one we just created, next questions, let's tap that. You can see instantly it pastes that complete answer in the chat. And then I can just hit send and it's done. If it was a live stream, you would see something like what you're seeing in the B-roll now, where I'm in the future recording me using this exact same phrase during one of Nick Newman's streams. That's what it looks like moderating on YouTube, for example. 
The beauty, I don't have to leave YouTube, I don't have to leave the stream to type the response or to copy and paste the response. Because copy and pasting on a phone, whether it's iOS or Android, can be a pain in the bottom. So this is the way you can do it, have everything set up predetermined because quite frankly, you wanna have a supply of canned responses that you can use to respond to regularly asked questions and regular links that need to be dropped. I hope there's a great solution in there for you when you're moderating a live stream in particular, or you could even use it to respond to your comments on your YouTube channel when out and about, and all you have is your phone. Those most common answers that you have that you have to keep giving repeatedly, put them into your canned responses app and away you go. And if you've got any questions about this, make sure to comment below and I'll meet you in the comment section and answer your question the best I can. If you want to talk more about moderation, I've got a playlist on moderation that you can see below. And I'm going to recommend this video right here, the aforementioned Stream Deck moderation video. Well, this is Doug, and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation.